My people, God bless you all. My prophetic VIP people, how are they? God bless you, God bless you. Yes, I thank you all. My old subscribers, my new subscribers, I just want to appreciate you all. Okay, I want to appreciate you. You people are so amazing. Thank you very much for sharing my video, for watching my video anytime I upload. And if you have not yet subscribed, I don't know what you are waiting for. Maybe I'll come and carry that your finger to click on. <laughs> click it, okay? And share to others as well. Put on the notification bell. Anytime I upload, you will be the first person that will watch it, okay? As a VIP people consign. Yes. Uh, I talk about uh, a healthy food the other time you know so i come across a video a man of god was saying the same thing and uh, he go further talk about we need to go to hospital check up you know go and check yourself you know so so that you know how your body is uh is is and then know how to eat right if there's anything, but we Christians, especially, we say, we are talking about faith, which is good. But what I want to say is that there are time and season for everything. Don't let your body break down before you take off it. You know, it's just like a car. When you are riding, like if you are the person that that drive, when you are riding your car, your car is giving you sign. Car never break down at a time without giving you sign. Never. So when you are riding a car and the car is giving you sign, like this model car now, in the dashboard, you will see a sign that is giving you. But when you ignore that sign, it will tell you later what you are be ignoring. Are you getting it? So when the sign is there, take off that sign. Check that sign. What is it saying? Just like a, a child is crying, pointing a place, pointing a place. You have to go and help that child to check what he or she is pointing. Not that you're ignorant. Mm, let me ignore it. You don't know what is going on. Many of us, we ignore many things. We ignore many things. A man was not okay in his health. He went, uh, uh, he, he went to a place. And the place did not uh, uh, work well. You understand? The wife said, come back home. Come and stay here with us. We didn't, we didn't uh, tell you that this place is not okay. This place is okay. But the man said, no, no, I want to go. I want to go this place. The woman said, you know your health. He said, the woman, don't, don't, don't you have it? Don't you have it? Don't you believe that there is nothing God cannot do? What God cannot do does not exist. Don't you? That, that one know, said, I know. I understand. And I believe in God. There's nothing God cannot do. But your health is very important. Don't go out of us so that we will take care of you. You understand? Or better still, go to, to doctor. Then doctor will give you your, 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 your drugs. So that when you get there, you'll be taking your drugs. The man didn't listen. At the end, he lost his life. He lost his life. So, would you that have your own body... You're supposed to know your body even more than the other person. Why will somebody push you and push you to go and do tests? Why will somebody get, push you, push you to take your drugs if you are you are you are you are you are taking drugs? Do you want to die? Do you want to 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 leave this earth, leaving your 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 wife if you are married or if you are if you have husband and your children suffering? Me, I don't I don't really understand why someone. You are not okay. Instead of you to go to the hospital to check, you will still stay at home. Even in Africa, I understand that they need to pay. But system here in Western world is different. You go, you, when you have a, a insurance and everything is covered, you need to, you go. Some people, they are afraid not to go to a hospital and, and check themselves, uh, how they are or whatsoever is, is there. Sometimes nothing is wrong. You don't wait for something to be wrong with you before you go to the hospital, before you go for checkup. You need to go for checkup. Especially some men, they do this as well. 
Husband, you will push and push. You will push and push. Okay, you go to the day, you go say, ah, don't worry, I've prayed. The thing is gone. It's good you say that. But still go for checkup. See, go for checkup. It's not that you don't have money now. That you don't pay for it. Cash. You will go, they do it. The government have already fixed that for us. Yeah. Okay. Those that in Africa try to do as well. Get that money because health is wealth. There are some people that have money. They, they don't have good health. The rich also cry, they say. Amen. So when you are going through all those things, go to check up. And if you are not going through it, still go to check up. Examine yourself. Physically examine it. Spiritually, we examine it as well through the word of God. But I'm talking about physically now. The physical aspect, the way, what you eat. What you eat is very, very important. And when age is going as well, you know, you be careful what you eat. Majority of, majority of us, we don't do exercise. Okay. But eat right. Eat right. Walk. Take a walk. Very, very important. Now we just relax like that. God will do it. We don't put God to test. We don't put God to test. We do our part and God will do what we cannot do. Amen. So please, my brothers and sisters, don't die before your time. Then let us start praying. The devil, there are some things that devil is not even there. It's we, what we are eating, what we are doing. That is bringing on those things. So we ourselves need to change our mindsets and take care of that thing. Why will your wife be pushing you? Honey, go to hospital. Uh, darling, go to hospital. Dar darling, let us do uh -uh. Please, my people, we are here to, to do what God has asked us to do. Please, my people, we are here for purpose. This body needs the spirit to, to, to go on. The body needs the spirit. The spirit needs the body to move on. Don't, don't kill yourself. The time you need to take a rest, take a rest. Some people, they have this spirit of overcleaning. It's very good to be clean. It's very good to, to, to be neat. Don't overclean. They will just lie down. They will say, ah, that wardrobe. I need to arrange. They will start bringing it as, I, I, I see somebody like that. I say, this wardrobe is arranged. Go and sleep before your children come back from school. Because you are not doing anything. Relax. Oh, ask work, not the finish. Whether you do it from nothing, Christ come. It, it, will not, it will never end one day. So, try to relax. The time you need to sleep, sleep. If you're already tired, that take a snap in the afternoon. Just the bed, they, they relax. Cool your head down. Amen. Please, take off your head. God needs you and I to do his work. Okay? God needs you and I to reach someone. As I'm speaking now, we are reaching somebody. God needs you and I. So please take off yourself. And God Almighty keep us alive. God bless you. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. Don't fall a victim. Stay healthy. Stay wealthy. And be strong. I love you. God bless you. Shalom. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our latest videos.